Well, 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 we've made it past the first Saturday of bowl season. And what a treat it was. We've also got some college basketball stuff as well. Ha ha. Ha ha. Um, but yeah. Um, first off, the Celebration Bowl was another success. Fifth year in a row that it kind of, it didn't start off bowl season this year, unfortunately. But it was another success. Uh, North Carolina A&T just put the smack down on Alcorn 64 to 44. Man, you you didn't watch this barn burner, this Big 12 type scoring affair. I don't know what in the world was wrong with you. Man, I don't even know where to begin with that game. Um, it was insane. You know, if you have to go go to YouTube or something and go go watch it live on replay, man. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. It was crazy. Um, but the other bowl games on that Saturday were not so great, to be completely honest with you. Um, the other main games, the other main bowl games that were on ABC on that Saturday, on the Boca Raton Bowl first off, um, I don't know what in the world happened to SW in this game against Florida Atlantic. Florida Atlantic, you know, Obviously, they were at home. It's the Boca Raton Bowl. This USA champion seems to continue to go to the Boca Raton Bowl every year now. Um, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, um, FAU just blew out SMU. No Lane Kiffin. None of his guys are there. But Willie Taggart was there. Oh, God. And that was crazy enough as it was. Um, but... <laughs> Florida Atlantic just I don't even I don't even know they just blew out SMU. Uh, at the same, oh, a little bit after that though, um, Washington took the field against Boise State. Chris Peterson's final game as the Washington head coach. Um, as you all know, he stepped down as head coach, and then Washington came out on the field. They just blew out Boise State like it's nothing. 38 to, I believe it was 70. 38 to 7 was the final net game. Crazy, crazy game. You didn't expect the boys to get blown out like this. Not at all. Um, yeah, boys, they had like three quarterbacks in this game. Probably should have stuck with only one. You know, but who, who knows? The season's over for both those teams now. Now you just, you just got to get prepared and stuff like that. Um,. And then we have the New Orleans Bowl, which was so poorly officiated. And of course, you know, on commentary, it was uh, it was uh, Beth Mullins and her crew. So you know, I had to mute the TV, you had to mute the laptop and everything. Cause I got the entire crew for that for that game it was horrible. But the refs were even worse. There was a pass in the first half that UAB had. And it was not supposed to be a touchdown, but the refs just did not do anything. They were like, nope, nope, we didn't see nothing. We didn't do nothing. But ultimately, Appalachian State, you know, they they, they came out in the end. They put the clamps down in the second half, and they got, you know, they got they got through it. And they, and they won the game very easily. And now we shift gears over to some college basketball stuff because, man, oh, man. Do we even know um, who the number one seed is going to be? Rather, the number one ranked team is going to be right now. Well, right now, as of the time of this video, it is Gonzaga, who is number one, who has played. They have good competition in non-conference play. They, they got blown out by Michigan, but they've beaten everybody else on their schedule. Number two is Ohio State. And this Saturday, they, they just... They just gave Kentucky the business once again. Kentucky's lost twice in a row now. But the biggest thing, honestly, was Villanova beating up on Kansas. They, well, rather, it wasn't a beat up. It wasn't a beat em up game. It was an upset. It was an upset in the best sense of the word. Game when he shot like 10, 15 seconds ago. Tightly contested game from both these teams at Villanova. Though. And it was a great game, man. I, I caught up with it. Um, ended up watching the entire thing. It was great. Um, 
<sighs> Excuse me. And you know, I think the storyline here is, is is there going to be a new number one soon? How, what will Gonzaga do as the number one team in the nation right now? Well, they've only got a couple of non-conference games left and then it's all on the West Coast Conference play. And, what, and the West Coast Conference isn't as bad as people say it is. It's not the worst conference in college basketball. It's not the best either. The worst conferences in college basketball are me I can the swack. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Okay. Um, so the, the West Coast is not that bad. Um, if you want bad, you have to go to the MEAC and the SWAC. You know, I'm sorry, you just you just have to. It's been that way forever. It's been it's been the way of the law forever in college basketball. But enough enough about how bad HBCUs are at college basketball. Um, but yeah, Gonzaga Gonzaga is a team that just they they look like they're rebuilding this year. It looks like you know they're gonna be just fine. Uh, heading in the conference play and stuff like that. And as we move the calendar towards January, a new year, 2020, um, let me tell you, it is going to be fun to watch what in the world is going to happen now. Gonzaga could lose a game or two in West Coast Conference play. They only play 16 games now in the West Coast Conference because of, you know, they had to appease to them, uh, to Gonzaga. But, you know. Um, it should be interesting to see what in the world happens there. <sighs> it should be interesting to see who's going to be, is Gonzaga going to stay at number one? What about Ohio State? Can they get through the gauntlet of the Big Ten? Um, yeah, they, 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 yeah, Michigan, I think it's like the only other team that's ranked right now. I know there's a couple other teams like Indiana, Maryland, or somebody like that, you know, that they can prove to be, you know, something of interest um, to Ohio State. But Gonzaga, Ohio State, um, there's still a couple undefeated teams left, like Auburn, that really haven't done much, um, or San Diego State. Uh, I believe Dayton has lost already, so there's only about three undefeateds left. I don't know about Liberty. Uh, oh, yeah, and speaking of Liberty and, and God. It, in college football, anyway, Liberty won their first bowl game. Crazy, right? It beat Georgia Southern. Crazy. Crazy, crazy time we are living in. Uh, but, yeah. And also the Gasparilla Bowl, um, which at the time of this video has already played out before the Monday Night Football game. It took forever. UCF blew out Marshall. So, you know. Um, but, yeah. It'll be an interesting. It'll be an interesting way to see, you know, what, what the storylines of college basketball are going to be. Obviously, you know, the first week of college football, bowl games, all these teams to play in the first week, their seasons are over now. Now we get to focus on the true, true playoff. Um, oh, yeah. One more thing. The FCS semifinals, the most obvious of outcomes happened. Why, why are we not surprised that it's going to be James Madison, North Dakota State? <laughs> James Madison blew out Weaver State, and North Dakota State just absolutely steamrolled Montana State. Trey Lance has 40 touchdowns and no picks. What the hell is going on out here? How do you not throw a pick in, this, in, the, in the entire season, man? Um, that's a good job, though. Um, but yeah. Yeah. What a crazy Saturday it was. With NFL on, too, man, I got to tell you, just a crazy, crazy time, man. But, yeah, that's going to do it. Um, be previewing the other, the non-playoff uh, games in a few moments, and we'll see you guys in a few. I'll take care. We'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs>